Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris. We are making contact with alien species and... Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. Everything's happening at once. What the hell? Okay, right. Everything happened instantly. That's a great start to the episode. What do we got? The birth of space piracy. A civilian... Okay, we were starting the episode and I can't even talk. As civilian travel in space becomes more commonplace, several powerful criminal organizations on Earth has sensed an opportunity to expand their operations. They have converted a number of civilian freighters into improvised warships, with which they raid civilian shipping lanes for booty. We know they call themselves the Star Raiders, and that they operate from some kind of hidden space facility. Every effort must be made to bring these criminals to justice. They will be found. Okay, so we've got bad guys out there. Our first colony, Primus, in Alpha Centauri, is now online and operational. Very nice. And, excellent. This is what we wanted to happen. These guys, the League of Maresh States, who rivaled us last episode, have now rivaled the Bafarid Republic. These guys. Because we unrivaling the people who have rivaled them, these guys are going to like us more now. Which will be nice, because we share a border with them, and their technology is better than ours, so I don't particularly want to fight them. Also, they're pacifists, so it's highly unlikely they would pick a fight. Okay, anything else popping up? Oh, we've got hostile fleet present. Ah, in, in Procyon. Pirate fleet. Let's take a look. What have they got? Ah, that's their pirate base. And their fleet is moving. They're heading to the Alpha Centauri system. They're going to try and destroy some of my, my bases. Luckily, I've built a bunch of warships. So, I could wait for that last, for that next one to come online. We do have the firepower to take them. Or we could try and wait for that last ship and then fight them in Alpha Centauri. I think I want to try and wait for that last ship. Oh, shoot. I just declined a non-aggression pact. Uh, hang on. Can I look at... Did I automatically decline and... Yep, there we go. We'll form a non-aggression pact. This will increase their trust of us by 0.5 each month, up to a maximum of 50. Perfect. I like the idea of having friendly neighbours. So they should like us quite a lot now. We've got a little bit of border friction and they don't like my bombardment policy. New contact modifier is coming down. And if they rival the League of Marash back, we'll get another modifier. Cool they're on board with not attacking each other. Where's my construction ship? Down there. Hmm. I'm going to send you back home for the time being. Just want to wait for this last corvette to finish up, which should be very soon. Complete. There we go. System survey complete. Okay, I want you guys to head into Alpha Centauri, because I think that fleet is going to be heading there soon as well. I don't know where they're going to be attacking, so just take up position in the centre of the star system. Meanwhile, the UNS Doolittle has finished serving over here. Now... We do want to survey that anomaly, but I don't want to do it with that guy. So I'm going to leave that be for the time being. You can start surveying stuff up that way. You've got orders to survey those three systems, so you're just going to work through that. Oh, they're in Barnard Star? What the hell? Okay, change course, head to Barnard Star. Could have sworn they were heading there. Yeah, they're going to try and take out that mining station. Damn. Where's my actual fleet right now? Station under attack. Okay, we're already there. This isn't bad. We might be able to get there in time to save the station. Research complete. Maybe engaged. not. Survey completed. Through our survey of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Earth. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. We gained 192 society research and 159 energy credits. Not bad. Okay, it looks like, yeah, my fleet is about to engage. 
Uh, we have also finished research on gravitic sensors, so our survey speed just went up by 15%, and we now have a new sensor component we can install. And, aha, here we go, this is what I want, fusion reactors, we want to unlock that, so we can actually power all the stuff on our ships. It's going to take 50 months, which is an unfortunately long amount of time, but hey. Right, let's slow down the speed here and see if the first fleet can save my mining outpost. Yeah, it looks like the pirates have switched targets. Missiles are flying all over the place. Now we're probably going to lose one or two ships. Yeah, there goes our first one, but they are falling rapidly here. I don't want to lose too many ships. If we appear weak to our rivals, they will attack us. Come on, don't lose another ship. I'm okay with losing one. I don't want to lose two. Yeah, that last one's going to go down very quickly. Oh, hello. Oh, the Bafarian Republic turned up to join in the fight. Hello. That's kind of interesting, actually, because I can now take a look at their ships quickly. And we did save our mining outpost, so that's fine. So they've got 13 corvettes. What have they actually got on their corvettes? Okay, they've got red lasers. Okay. And they use wormholes. So... Of the three FTL types, they're using wormholes, which we've used before in the first series I played through on this. Uh, looks like they've already got medium... Uh, they've got deflectors, same as us. And they have small armor plating. That's not bad. Can I compare their ships to mine? That's what I'd like to do, is actually put a comparison up of how their corvettes stack up against mine. Is that a thing I can do? No, I can't select. That's a bit annoying. Okay, so let's have a look. Basic stats, 300 hull points, 80 shields, and 5.49 damage. So 360, so they've got less shields than me. They do a tiny bit more damage due to excess power. Okay. Interesting. Now the good thing is, missiles, we could actually probably beat them in a fight. Not with these numbers, they outnumber us, but one-on-one, -on -one, our corvettes would hit more frequently because our missiles will always hit, whereas their small red lasers only have a tracking of 60%. So that's not too bad. Okay, right, this fleet needs to go back to Earth and repair. I would like to keep building some more corvettes, because we need to go take out the enemy station. In fact, I'm going to build three more corvettes. And we want to take out the enemy stations over here in Procyon. We also have a research project here to examine the debris they left behind. So we probably want to bring one of our ships back soon as well. We'll have to see who finishes their task first. Might not hurt to bring that guy back. Okay, the campaigning to elect a new president is underway. The result will be announced on the, 20, on the 1st of the 4th, 20, 2210. Okay, fair enough. Our fleet should be healing up soon. It's currently on 84.3%. It's going to cost us some of our resources to repair, but that's okay. Anomaly found. Ooh. Anomaly. Cold hard potential. Our science officers found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial find. Failure risk of 50%. Wow. Yeah, you're not doing that. Yeah, you're not doing that at all. We might need to shift our Situation captains over. Updated. And we have a new president. A new ruler has been elected. President Patamash Gupta will rule until the next election, which will take place on the 1st of the 4th, 2220. So 10 years from now. Okay, let's see what kind of uh, ruler they are like. What do they want? What mandate? Orbital research mandate. They want to see 40 research stations built, and, and we'd get a reward for building them. Okay. Um, I can't actually build that many research stations. I could build another... Actually, I could build two, maybe even three, depending on what's here in series. No. I can build two. I'm not going to worry about that. We've got ten years System's if we want to try and do it, but we're not hurting for influence right now. Okay, Luisa has been surveyed. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to switch over my science captains. Benjamin... I want you to go over there. You're here. I want you to go over there. And you are going to come back over here and do this for me. Meanwhile, Benjamin can work on those two anomalies we found. 
First fleet is fully repaired. We've got a couple more corvettes to come off the line. And then I'm going to go deal with that enemy base in System Procyon. Survey complete. Okay, Doolittle is done. Right. With Benjamin, it's still a 35% risk. Wow. I mean, he's got another 25% on top of that against, so he's got a chance. I guess we can't wait for him to get to level 5. That's going to be a while away. Hopefully he doesn't die. That's all I hope. If it fails, it fails, but I just don't want him to die. Okay, we have nine corvettes now. Let's go deal with this enemy base here. Should be a pretty easy fight. Ooh, defensive pact invitation. The Bufferian Republic wants to join us in a defensive pact. We would not want to drag your people into a conflict, but it is clear that we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. I mean, we've both been rivaled by the same bad guys, so that would actually work pretty well for us. I agree. Basically, we're forming an alliance against this guy. If he declares war on one of us, the other one, he declares war on both of us. Which should keep him off his backs if the AI is smart. If it's not smart, it's going to get curb stomped. Well, maybe. I mean, we're, we're allied with pacifists. They're not going to be particularly good in a fight. I don't even know how many ships... Well, we did see their fleet. It's not a bad fleet. Ah, damn. The harsh climate has taken its toll, and our science team, science team have failed to reveal anything about UNS Doolittle. Uh, to reveal anything about UNS Doolittle that we did not already know. Why were they surveying our ship? That was not what they were meant to be surveying, but okay. Well, that was a failure, but you can head over here and do this one for me. Maybe you'll have better luck with that. And our fleet is attacking the enemy station here. Okay, they're firing with missiles, so they're going to hit with every shot. But we do have shields, which have already gone on our lead ship. That's a bit sucky. These things, it doesn't have a lot of firepower, but it's got a lot of health. So I suspect we're going to lose a corvette here. It's also got lasers as well. Oh no, it's got point defense. Shooting down my missiles. That's rude. Research complete. Okay, we've finished research into mining network 2 for geothermal fracking. New fracking techniques will allow us to tap into previously unattainable, unattainable pockets of geothermal resources deep beneath the planet's crust. Sounds good to me. What do we want next? Uh, fusion missiles, weapons upgrade. That would be really nice. We're going to take that. That will increase our damage. Ooh. We have analysed the debris in Barnard Star. 10% progress on nanocomposite materials, 10 points of physics research, and 15 points of engineering research. That's good. We're going to have another one momentarily when this thing dies, finally. Looks like our Corvette might actually survive. There we go. Pirate station raided. The first fleet has destroyed a pirate station in the Procyon system and recovered its strong room module, gaining us 80 minerals and 50 energy credits. That's not that much. <laughs> I've had way more for that before. That's a, that's a disappointing amount. But... You can now head in there and do that survey mission for me. Our fleet can head back home and repair once more. Okay, we're at least stable. We need to start thinking about spreading our borders again. We've got the minerals for it. Unless there's anything really pressing on Earth I want to build. I mean, I can upgrade all of my mines, but that's going to cost me energy I don't actually have yet. Although we've got a decent reserve of energy, so we can afford to go negative for a short while. And if I colonize Sirius, that might expand our borders. I think we're going to have to do that, actually. Okay. We're going to build another colony ship. Let's get that queued up. Go back up to fastest speed. Right, you're working on that research project. You are working on that. I think once you're done with that I want to start looking at these systems down here. We could consider building a frontier outpost if there's something down here, not around a colonizable system that we actually want we want to claim straight away, we could build a frontier outpost. It'll cost us some influence, but we can probably afford it. On the shoulders of giants. It appears that the asteroid UNS Doolittle and the surrounding debris originates They keeps using the ship name when it's not meant to. It appears that the asteroid 
something, not my science ship, and the surrounding debris originate from a former planet. Deep within the centre of the asteroids we can find traces of extremely valuable minerals. There is also hints of bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. That's pretty cool. And that adds X, X planet modifier to TD1800, plus five minerals. There's nine minerals in that system. That might be worth building. I mean, we could try building a frontier outpost out here and seeing if we can claim some of these miner these uh, systems with all these minerals. Might be worthwhile. Okay, uh, where do we want to send you next? That sign ship will go down this way. We're ignoring this chain for the time being because it's within our territory. Well, it, we're the only ones that can ever get to this, really. No one They're not going to colonise down here, I'm sure. That's another dead end. Choices, choices, choices. I mean, without knowing what's down here, it could be worthwhile. I don't know. I don't know what the right choice there is. Too many, too many branching paths, too many choices for where we can go. But one of our scientists leveled up, which is nice. Okay, first fleet has been fully repaired. How are we doing on our new colony ship? Halfway there. And we've analysed more debris. 10% progress on active countermeasures, 10% progress on nanocomposite materials, 10 more physics research points, and 15 engineering research points. Not too bad. And that was all the debris in that system, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, right, so you are ready for new orders. Let's get you going down this path. Because these are, these are worlds that could come within our borders in the not-too-distant future. Stuff over here probably isn't a priority. Maybe we should switch over to this path and just clear out this chain. At least, at least then we'll know what's down here. Could be... Another, there could be an alien empire down here, you never know. Could be some alien enclaves. Could be some really good resources that we want to try and claim. With some frontier outposts, so... I don't know. We'll have to make a decision at some Construction point. Complete. Okay, colony ship is online. Energy credits are going into the negative, but that's only for a short while. So, I would like you to come over here. I mean, we could actually... We could be a bit bolder. We could skip Sirius entirely. And take this world. I mean, it's doable. It would push our borders out further. Possibly bringing these star systems in. No one's going to take Sirius from out underneath us, so... I think we're going to do that. I think we're actually going to skip over Sirius. Sirius will be a very good world when I can get rid of all these terrain blockers. But this will give us greater reach. And that's what I think we need right now. So, 39 influence to colonize. That's fine. We've got our ship ready. I'm going to plant you right there. Jataramus Prime. Sure thing. It's a cool name for a planet. Just imagine in the future, like, where did you grow up? Oh, I grew up on Jataramus Prime. You know, it's in the it's in the Jetorama system. That'd be cool. That's also a pretty cool system. Okay, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna bring Benjamin back. He's gonna start working down this tree for me. That's a short chain. I'm not too worried about that. And to be honest, we're more looking to colonize in this direction. So we probably want to go down this chain. Maybe push up past the Marish. Maybe see. I'm not sure. There we go, our ship has landed. You can see our borders are expanding already. It's going to take about a year for them to uh, actually get themselves all sorted out. Okay, Drisk has been surveyed. Six minerals there. That wouldn't be bad to bring into our borders either. Let's see. Let's queue up orders for those two systems. And we'll see. We, may, we want to try and probably push our borders out artificially through the use of some frontier outposts, I think is the plan. But I'm going to take a break here, because we're pretty much on to time. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And hopefully, I'm going to see you all later for the next one. Bye.